Question number three. And from this onward, we are having different scenarios that we will uh, test. So one of them is what impact would doubling the bag sizes at the stamping operation have on every daily capacity? B, number specific. Explain qualitatively what other effects this change would have. So can you figure out the solution to this part or not? So we are doubling the bag size. So we had a bag size of 360 and now we are having a bag size of uh, 720. So we are uh, doubling the bag size. So we are moving from 360 boxes to 720. So what will be the impact on the capacity? So before we mathematically solve it, I ask you the question, whether the capacity would double or not? So uh, the available time is the same, but the bag size has increased from 360 to 720 boxes per week. So we have the same formula for the capacity. So let's quickly solve it and then we will discuss it. So capacity of the stamping, I will write some of the values directly. So available time was 2400 and the change over time is also the same, 120 plus 120. Now the bag size has doubled, so we need 720 A's and 1440, 1440 B's. So each B requires half a minute. So that will turn out to be 2400 divided by 240 plus 720 plus 720, so that will be equal to 1.43 batches per week. Notice that the number of batches has reduced, but because the batch size is larger than the previous case, so capacity will increase. So the capacity will be equal to 1.43 into 720. So in terms of boxes per week, that will be equal to 1029. So you should notice that the capacity has increased, but it has not increased linearly. So previously it was 900 and now it is 1029. So the increase is not linear. So we will discuss it why that is the case. And similarly for the painting, the available time is the same. Twenty four hundred minutes per week. Change over time was twenty, and we are having seven twenty part A, and each required half a minute, and one thousand four hundred and forty part Bs, and each required one over six minutes or ten seconds. So that will be equal to 2400 divided by 20 plus 360 plus 240. So that will be equal to 3.87 batches per week. And in terms of boxes per week, that will be equal to 3.87 is the the number of batches and the batch size is 720. So that will be 2786 boxes per week. Now here this increase is even smaller. So it has increased from 2700 to 2786. So previously it was 2700. So increase is even smaller. So why the increase in painting is less as compared to uh, stamping and the increase in both cases is not linear. In the case of assembly, the capacity will be the same. So that was 
1067 because it is not a batch process, so there is no change over required. So the capacity will be 1067 boxes per week. So it is the same. So there are a few impacts that we can see. One is obvious that overall capacity has increased. So overall capacity of the company has increased from 900 to uh, 1029. So this is one of the impacts of doubling the batch size. So overall capacity has increased from 900 boxes to 1029 boxes per week. So doubling the batch size has have a very small uh, increase in the overall capacity. So you can calculate in terms of percentage as well. So increase is of course not linear and stamping is still the bottleneck. Still its capacity is the lowest capacity. Now what could be the other impacts? So capacity has increased, it has not increased linearly, stamping is still the bottleneck. What could be the other impact? The work in process inventory will also increase. You are producing more in the same time, so that will increase the overall inventory uh, in the system. What other impact will be there? What other impact? So we are producing larger batches, so we will be producing lesser variety. So we will be actually switching between different models of the boxes after a long time. So we will be producing lesser variety in the same time. And finally, another impact will be, uh, that is actually related to increase in capacity and that is a lesser setup cost. If there is some cost related to uh, setup, then there will be lesser setup cost per piece or per part that is made. So these are few of the impacts of doubling the base size. If you have any input or any question, uh, you are welcome.